The Florida Everglades is home to some monster fish. It is a place where many experienced anglers come day after day, year after year, in search of some of these giants. One of the most effective ways to catch giant fish is by using cut bait, especially ladyfish, to try to appeal to these larger snooks' appetites. Today, me and my brothers went chunking deep in the Everglades to try to catch the biggest snook we could find, and it did not disappoint. First spot. Yep. Snook, snook, snook. A two inch chunk of lady. Before we could even think about fishing, we needed to get our ladyfish. If you guys have ever tried doing what we're doing, you know how frustrating they can be to get in the boat. They are often called poor man's tarpon and for good reason. These suckers will try everything they can to toss or shake the hook. Luckily, we were able to find a nice mud flat alongside a deeper channel to get our acquired ladyfish, adding two solid trout to the bag as well. Not a bad bycatch. Now, it was time to make the run south with hopes of getting on some stud snook. So smart. I'm not having rigged up, that's fun. I'm gonna wait for the bows. Add him with an absolute laser beam. <laughs> laser beam? What ounce are you putting on, two? That's a big gator. It's bad how how close they come to people. If I'm on, someone pick up that camera and record me putting in work. Give them the beans. All right, so ladyfish are extremely good chunk baits. They're very slimy, shiny. I feel like it gets the snook's eye. The most common baits are usually just ladyfish and mullet, but we always had a lot of luck using ladyfish, but you really want to cut them in just kind of like bite-sized little chunks for these snook and redfish and stuff. Anything like kind of, depending on the size of the ladyfish you catch, but that's like money right there, like a one, maybe two inch uh, ladyfish chunk. And they're just perfect chunk baits. But this is what we've been throwing, what we always do when we're chunking. So that's kind of the, the food for thought for what we're, what we're doing when we're cutting them. I'm gonna go off this point. That's a snook, too, buddy. That is a snook. Luke's on with oh, the snook. Dude. It is? Yeah. Luke is on with a good snook, dude. You got a flip. Yeah, it's a Let's go. That was quick, boys. That was quick. How big is he? Like dude, it's, dude, that's gonna be a massive snook, dude. Yeah, look at the head on that thing. That snook's gonna be huge in the future. Dude, he came all out of the water and like, yeah, he got airborne. Google Maps? Google Maps, dude. Google Maps. Dude, dude at 4:30, that's a nice snook, brother. <laughs> Let's go. All right, first spot. We found this spot on Google Maps, just trying to find some areas with some deeper cuts and water movement. This fish is gonna be big, can you tell by the head? But really it's solid, stud, dude. really solid first fish.
<laughs> dude, hey. boys, that already makes it worth it, dude. Let's go. <clears throat> I just want to point out that I'm so glad we're not still trying to catch Lady Fish right now. Because <laughs> we've had those trips before. Oh my gosh. Dude, Luke and I were where were you that point? That was a hey. hundred and an eight ounce weight, dude. Like, that was instant, bro. No, he, hey, it was the thump too. Like he did not fuck around, dude. Yeah, that's how you know. Hey, this just got bumped. I know, I saw that. Let's freaking, that was on a head. A smaller head. Dude, the head has been money lately, dude. Really? No, that's a, that's a slot snook, dude. Absolutely. At 530, like this spot, that, see, this makes me want to come back here at some other point. Like come back here at night, you know what I mean? Because obviously we know it's a good spot. We gotta, you really gotta get a death grip on him. He almost went overboard. Oh, I know, yeah. Especially those bigger ones, dude. All right, I'm gonna get mine to that point, Billy. Dude, a snook that size getting airborne is kind of cracked. I did too when he first jumped. That was money. All right, one one slot snook down. Luke, where were you? Should I go to the left of that point, or should I just go right at this? Down the point. I was like to the. I wasn't on the point Ooh, yeah, that way. I don't think it's in the trees. I think we're good. Dude, I love how chunking is just so easy. Chunking is my favorite fish. You literally just sit here and you have such such high like risk reward. Well, that's what's great, dude. You're gonna weed out those little fish. Dude, you can kind of force Adam just got doing to oh my goodness. Adam's off that left point, I think. Adam just went for it, bro. Oh no. RIP. Oh, I got snapped. Shark. One of the things that often comes into play when you're using cut bait are the catfish and sharks. After that first snook, they started to move in, so we decided to move spots as we often do when you're chunking. I'm him. I agree. I might be on credit, dude. I got doinked earlier, right? You said? This route? Yeah. Out, then we can motor. At least, we can motor at least. Yeah, I remember we saw a boat come out of here one time. Remember when we were here? So we can motor out and we can motor at least to here, then maybe idle to it just to be safe, but. Oh, you're saying that. Yeah, look, but then. Which one? Right there. Are you sure? Yeah, he's on. Uh oh. Yo. Snook, snook, snook. Yep. Billy is on with a nice snook. Going right. Oh my god. Oh wait, no, I didn't. Oh my god. Nice oh, net, no. Luke. I, oh. I sniped that thing. <laughs> Dude, that was. I love when they come out of the water right away, too. Dude, I just put that thing over. Let me see that thing. I Dude, he's probably the size it. of Luke's. Yo, I reached out with my left hand. <laughs> <laughs> you snagged that snook, dude. I like being able to do this until you, you're situated here. Yeah. Mm, almost 30 inch snook. You knew it too, you, you called Dona back in that spot. All right, we got a 29. Use like, I don't know, a two inch chunk of ladyfish. Got 60 pound leader, two ounce egg weight, and like a 5.0. Just throwing them up in these mangroves. Um, we got pretty good um, shadow, which is nice. 
shadow lines. We've typically found some fish there. There you go, brother. There we go. <laughs> Two slot snook, dude. I'm gonna have to re rig this rod. I'm gonna recast mine. Mine's He's not gotten touched. That thing too, like. Yeah, the trick is you wanna get these chunks as close as you can to the mangroves or wherever your like target area is. If it's a couple yards off, probably not gonna get much. I'm gonna throw it in this pocket to the left. You go to that island where I was trying to go, Luke. Billy, watch this, ready? Going. Literal money. Pleasing to the eye, some could say. All right, I'm bringing mine in for real this time. I say we go. We got yeah. some other spots that are way better than this, I think. I'm not this fucking boat shit. In my opinion, sunset is the best time to chunk. We call it the golden hour, where daylight fades into night and the snook get fired up. As the sun started to come down, we decided to go and get set up at our next spot with hopes of finding another solid snook. I mean, that's literally a dot. It's either a shark or a snook or something. I would have thought that was a shark. Yeah, I don't think it would have not I didn't see eaten it. I didn't see bite mark on it Christian, Gotta be a shark, right? Yeah, his head shakes. If it is a shark, it's a big one. Definitely sure. All right, well, I think someone should get a line on this point. This spot is nuts. This spot is so nuts. This spot is deep. Oh. Christian is on. Oh my God. They like check their list of sponsors. Oh my God, that's underneath the freaking mangrove. Wait, no. <laughs> Shaq did a fool. Oh. oh my god. I didn't even set the hook, I just he dropped it. But you didn't set the you hook? What do you call it? <laughs> <laughs> you guys just need to let me cook. I would have let Rodney. I don't know if it was like that. I know. That was a bass. Oh! Noodle! Did it come off? Cold. No, it's all on the song. No, it's a, dude, it's 100% snake. Oh, my God. Yeah, 100%. You like that? You like that? Oh, 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 oh. Calm down, <laughs> calm down. <laughs> I just got that one. Let the chunk sit for probably like 20 seconds. But, uh, nothing great. <laughs> Nothing crazy here, just like a 20, probably 23, 24 inch snook, but anyways. It's about that, that prime time right now where the sun's going down, so we're hoping it kind of turns on a little bit more, but hopefully I don't get my... Yeah, did you see how close I had that though? Get it like in the freaking mangroves. You guys are fools for not taking advantage of where I was casting. 
You see, I like how Adam rushed back to the camera because he realizes the importance of filming. Whoever finds that hat is going to be a lucky ass. Adam, you're on. Adam, your line's tight, tight. You're, you're on. You're on. Oh, Adam's on. Real, real, real. Oh, my God. You don't need to set the hook of the circle hook, brother. You get snapped? It's probably a 40s gill plate. That was like the greatest cast ever. Yeah, I might recast mine. Yeah, mine's in there like swimwear. So the sunset bite was just not as hot as we expected it to be. Things seemed kind of off as we headed into the night, and we ended up fishing for another two hours or so into the dark, catching the regular kind of unwanted species like catfish and sharks. We ended up actually losing two or three solid snook into the night, but couldn't stick a hook into them and get them into the boat. We eventually ended up calling it a night and made the tricky run back to the ramp, thankful to make it back all right. Well, that's gonna wrap up the video. Had a pretty good night. We got a two slot snook. Uh, that run back was not fun. That was pretty sketchy, but we had some lights up front. Got back, uh, got back safely, thank God, but um, good night. Got two slot snook, some other fish. Got a nice little 24, 25 inch snook and uh, all the other stuff that comes along with chunking, some catfish, whatever, some sharks. But anyways, it was an awesome day. Hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you guys learned something. And uh, we're going to be back with another video shortly. But have a blessed Easter. And uh, God bless. I'll see you in the next video. Billy. Really?